welcome back to the 12th lesson of the training in this lesson you'll be looking at how to build your improvisational skills that is the basic steps to build your improvisational skills uh improvisation we are which has to do with uh playing on a sport or playing without preparation is something that you have to work on it's, it's something that requires a dedication and hard work i'm going to share with you in this video uh steps to get started So following the last lesson on black keys, uh, in this video I'll be working on any of the black keys because it is assumed you have actually seen the video, you practice the exercises in the video. So I'm moving away from white key. You know we have been working with white keys all this while. So I'm playing any of the black keys to explain this, uh, part, uh, this particular lesson. Now quickly let me give you uh, a guide to improvisation. There are some elements that you have to understand before you can actually improvise. And the first one is you have to understand chord progression. If you don't understand the chord progression of a song, it will be very difficult for you to supply improvisation to that kind of progression. Now, the second thing you have to get familiar with tones, with notes. I don't want to say notes so that it won't be like the notes in pieces of music or cheat of music. I'm talking about tone, sound. You have to get familiar with sound. And the third one is very important that will spice your improvisation is rhythm. You can play the same note in different rhythm to spice your improvisation. So if you are not familiar with rhythm, if you are not familiar with chord, if you are not familiar with tones, it will be very difficult. But the, the main reason for this lesson is to guide you, to get you started on how to build your improvisation. The first step I will share in this video is what I call creating motif. Motif is spelled M-O-T-I-F in music. A motif has to do with musical idea. It has to do with my beat line or several lines so you can actually start by creating motif with your familiar chords so then what do i mean by that now for example you have your chord one to chord four let's assume that's the progression we are working with i'm in the key of c sharp you can meet your motif with just the first note first note can you see it? you can extend it to another note because I know this La note is in the chord 4 so when I'm going to chord 4 I'm landing on my La so that is one of the ways you can build your improvisation you can start from the scratch from one note to two notes to three notes to four notes before you know it you are building a beautiful line of music so let's take that again I can go can get better than that but so that is what I mean by creating motif work with first note second note and start building on it so that's the first step to get started and that does not happen without knowledge of course so you can actually pick like two chords or like three chords pick chords you are familiar with and try to supply some notes to them the second step I will share in this video is my guy because I talk about it a lot is what I call skills oh my god there is no way you can actually sound pretty good with your improvisation without the knowledge of skills. You have to understand skills. You have to play skills. Even if you don't need it for improvisation, you need skills for flexibility. So how do you improvise if you are not flexible on the instrument? So you need skills very important. And there's one exercise I do a lot. I, even when I started, there's one exercise that got me started with my improvisation, right? Is playing skills to my chord. Then I pick some scales that are related to the chord I'm using. For example, let's use the progression 1, 6, 4, and 5. Okay, now, so how do we apply the scales to those progressions? Now, the exercise is about playing your major scales to the chord. Now, for example, now chord 1, I can play my major scale, that is C sharp major. Then, when I land on the Chord, I can still play that major scale because a major scale will still play right into the minor chord. Yes, it will still sound good, but you can change it. But 
the exercise is all about playing scales to chord in progression. Now the third one is chord four. I can decide to move to the minor scale, that is the la of the key, that is da di do re di ba to la. I play it against the fa because it's starting on my la, and la is part of the chord four. So can you get that? Then I move to the five. Then I can run the scale of the the key from the T note. That is, I take it from T do re di ba to la. That is the mode actually, but instead of bothering with the name of mode and right, you don't need that. Just know that when you start on your T, you run it in this in that key. So can we try this and see how it will sound? Slowly at first, take it slowly. play around those things now you can decide okay for my chord one instead of starting on the do you you can start on the mi note of the scale you can start on the mi so you have so you play around those things for example i know my chord one the mi note is the third of the chord why the so is the I can also pick my so and run it. So it's a very good way to build yourself. It will allow you to have that flexible movement on your notes if you are improvising. And at the same time, it will help you to build your notes while you are improvising. So it's a very good exercise. I want you to try it. Now we go to the third step. Another way to build your improvisational skills is with the use of chord tones. Now, what do I mean by chord tones? The notes that make up a chord. For example, you have your chord one in C sharp, then the notes are C sharp, your F or E sharp, then, then G sharp, you understand? So we have, so that is, those are the notes that make up the chord. So you can actually play around those chords in their roots and inversions to spice your improvisation. Now, for example, I'm on my chord one, I can go, I can play like this. So I can move any freely, or you can also move. From the inversion, down the first inversion, I can go. You see? you see, then I can also move, take it to the second inversion and play. So all this thing has to do with rehearsals. You have to practice. So you, and if you cannot do all this octave thing, you can just maintain your normal uh, triad for 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 a start. You can. Play if you need it. I can just go. You see? I'm on my life, then I decide to play the cotton to move to another thing. I have something like this. So you need cartoons, you have to get familiar with cartoons and play them in the videos to spice your imp improvisation. Improvisation is not all about running notes up and down no it has to do with building stuff building motif and it has to come in different rhythms if it's just about if you get to a stage when performers will get to a very high spirit that will start running you see that in jazz that they start running up and down scales and you know what i'm talking about but you don't just start improvising and studying. No, no, you don't just start doing that. You, you start building it. So you have to get familiar with different rhythm. It might come slow, it might come fast, it might come. Just... Gradually, that you get to a point, then 
I will start taking it high. But you have to learn that rhythm is very important. So you can start by picking just like two, three notes, the same way I explained with the creating motif and changing the rhythm. You can go. This is a. You see, it's different from. They are different rhythm, but the same note. So I have. You see, they are different. So rhythm is another way to spice your improvisation. So now the, the truth is, when it comes to improvisation, nobody will teach you, okay, this is what you'll be pressing when you want to improvise. No, they can only give you tips. Now, the ability to improvise has to do with you. That is where I will now share one of the important uh, tip or step to build it, which is listening to recordings. You have to listen to recordings. You have to listen and learn from people that are really very good in that aspect. Now you have to listen to recordings. By listening to recordings, you are learning how to actually improvise. Now you now go back to your own keyboard and try all the tips and steps you have learned in this video. I hope you find this helpful and thank you so much.